We're facing a really serious situation. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that we're facing a crisis. This crisis is unparalleled in the history of medical research in our country. The National Institutes of Health is just critical to hematology to advance us, and it's uh, being jeopardized right now. We're here to, to talk to Congress about the importance of developing a balanced approach to dealing with the nation's deficit and very importantly to talk about the importance of support for the National Institutes of Health. The concern today is that we're facing budget cuts and this is just the wrong time for that. It's a great time to be a hematologist and instead the federal government is facing a deficit and uh, the NIH budget cut of perhaps 8.4 percent and that would be devastating. We are literally at the edge of a cliff where if we stop funding the National Institutes of Health from the sequestration 33,000 jobs will be lost, up to 2,300 medical research grants will be lost, and funding for medical research in this country will take a huge step backwards at a time when we are poised to make further discoveries and save further lives. This is a time to fund science, not to avoid it. That this is a time that young people coming into science need support, um, not discouragement. I'm here because I'm 28 years old and I'm concerned that in 15 years I still won't have a job other than my current job now as a postdoctoral fellow. I've seen probably a quarter of my friends drop out of graduate school. There are just fewer jobs overall and less money to fund the research. There are lots of different ways to contact your congressman. Ash has a very easy to use uh, link on the website. Just a couple clicks and you can send a message to your congressman about the importance of the NIH budget. So if you will go to hematology.org forward slash fight now. There are a number of ways on that web page in which the American Society of Hematology will tell you how to contact your senator and congressman and make a personal difference in maintaining NIH funding. I know from personal experience that advocacy works. And you can make a difference. And every little contact with your congressman or your senator, even their staffers, make a difference. Especially personal contacts because each person is counted by that congressman or senator and they care about what you think. The only person that will not make a difference is a person that doesn't try. If you try, you will make a difference. <laughs>